Stock and commodity traders turn cautious as the coronavirus reaches America. Home sales increase even with the current housing market's slim inventory. Life is too short to worry about what the next headline could do to your life savings. Hi, my name is Eric Hagan and I keep my thumb on the pulse of the economy and the markets so my clients can focus on the things that are actually important to them. Thank you for joining me the next few minutes on today's weekly economic video update. Stock prices fell last week as investors considered the potential health and economic risks of the flu-like coronavirus. Foreign stock markets, as tracked by the broad MSCI EFI index, fell 1.03% for the week. Coincidentally, the S&P 500 lost exactly that much across a four-day Wall Street trading week. The Dow Jones Industrials Average declined 1.22%, the NASDAQ Composite off, 0.79%. By Friday's closing bell, two cases of coronavirus had been confirmed in the U.S. by the Centers for Disease Control, the CDC. 63 other potential cases were being monitored. 26 people had died from the virus in China, where more than 30 million people faced travel restrictions. This news exerted a drag on stocks in multiple industries. Oil prices also slipped. West Texas Intermediate Crude Oil lost 7.4% for the week to settle at $54.19 a barrel on Friday. Stock and commodity traders wondered if the virus would mimic the SARS scare of 2002 and 2003, which kept Chinese workers and shoppers at home and hurt corporate earnings worldwide. Existing home sales improved 3.6% in December, according to the National Association of Realtors. This happened even as the number of listed properties hit a 20-year low. The NAR says that the rate of total U.S. home sales, both existing and new, increased 10.8% in 2019. All right, and looking ahead, traders will watch not only earnings and economic indicators this week, but also the Federal Reserve, which meets Tuesday and Wednesday. The big question is, will the central bank's latest monetary policy statement reveal any subtle change of outlook? Hey, this is Eric again. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. To learn how I give my clients life savings the attention it deserves, visit me online at www.erichagan.pro. If you'd like to get financially organized, go check out nocostfinancialdashboard.com. And lastly, if you'd like to take control of your 401k at work, visit us over at 401kinvestmentpros.com. Thank you again for your time today. I'll look for you next week.